Let's take a look at our tail of the tape. You see the 13-year age difference. The weight, though, 173 quarters, 167 and a half for Alexis Angulo. The reach, identical. Main event time here from Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Let's get this party started as we'll send it up to Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen from the Mohegan Sun Arena here in Uncasville, Connecticut, Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Samson Boxing, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. Sponsored by Geico and Brooklyn Boxing, this bout is sanctioned by the WBC, the President Mauricio Suleiman, Supervisor Michael George, along with the Mohegan Tribe Department of Athletic Regulations. The Chairman of the Mohegan Tribe is James Gessner, and the Director is Michael Mazzuli. Introducing our three judges, scoring this bout for Brinkside, from New York, Don Ackerman. Also from New York, John McKay. And from Nevada, Chris Migliori. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of the action, Johnny Callis. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the vacant WBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Mohegan Sun Arena, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing white trunks with black trim, hailing from El Bordo, Cauca, Colombia. He weighed in at a ready 167 and one half pounds. His fine record stands at 26 wins, only one defeat with 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight in his second attempt at a world title and in his Showtime debut, introducing El Poderoso, Alexis Angulo. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red trucks with gold and black trim, he is now fighting out of Seattle, Washington by way of Phoenix, Arizona. He weighed in over the limit at 170 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 22 wins, no losses, 19 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the youngest fighter ever to capture the super middleweight crown, the undefeated former two-time WBC super middleweight champion of the world, introducing El Bandera Roja, David Benavides. Once again, a referee in charge now to give instructions, Johnny Callis. Alexis, David, you received your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times, but above all, obey my commands at all times. First command is right now, touch gloves. When the bell rings, come out and box. Good luck. Johnny Callis, a referee in charge. David Benavides, who lost his world title on the Back scale it up a yesterday. Bit, Back it up, Alexis. Aiming to keep his perfect record intact as he takes on Alexis Angulo, the hard-hitting Colombian power puncher. Our main event of the evening here from Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino in Uncasville, Connecticut. Ray Flores is joining you. Hopefully we get a clear-cut finish tonight because with the way the judging has gone this evening, you don't know what the heck these judges are going to come out with. And uh, Benavides wearing the red and the gold, wearing the white and the black is Alexis Angulo. I'll tell you, both men have high knockout percentages to their credit. The jab by Benavides, doubling up on the jab. Benavides has been working out at his father's gym in Seattle. Just opened up the gym, their private gym. Benavides is building a house in Seattle. He is expecting 
His girlfriend is expecting a baby in less than a month's time, about a couple weeks, as we enter into September. So he will be a father. Will David Benavides, congrats to him and his lovely young family. But right now he has business to handle against Alexis Angulo. For Angulo at 36 years of age, he looks in impeccable shape. Had no issue making the weight and said he is going to shock the world tonight. A right to the body by David Benavides. At the halfway mark of the first. The jab by David Benavides. Benavides very steadfast in terms of using his jab. You know, David Benavides is sparring with the likes of Gennady Golovkin at 15 years of age as Angulo now crowds Benavides had his, with his back on the ropes. Threw an uppercut, partially grazed the whiskers of Benavides. But now Benavides back on the offensive, looking to tee off upon Alexis Angulo. Last year, David Benavides fought in March. He finished off Jay Leon Love in the second round in Arlington, Texas, in front of nearly 50,000. A crowd of over 15,000 saw David Benavides defeat Anthony Durrell in the 10th round at Staples Center. Jab by Alexis Sangulo, a left hook by David Benavides. <laughs> Final moments of the first round. Both men throwing some high leather and a lot of leather towards one another. David Benavides with the hard right hand that missed. As round one draws to a close. Taking a look at some of the work by you, sir. Alexis Angulo. Good body work by Angulo. Followed by a right Thank uppercut. There, that left uppercut caught the attention of Benavides. Two uppercuts there by Angulo. And Benavides fighting with his back off the ropes. Pedro Diaz in the corner of Alexis Angulo. <laughs> On to round two. This one's scheduled for 12. Ray Flores here, Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino in Uncasville, Connecticut. Round number two. And David Benavides, as we mentioned, will be a father. His son is due in a few weeks. Tough. And um, David Benavides now, after this fight, win or lose, will look to become a three-time world champion. And he hasn't even ever lost a fight. Now the power by Alexis Angulo being demonstrated and displayed. But back comes Benavides. There's a left hook to the body by... Benavides, back comes Angulo. Go his head, let go. Angulo pressuring David Benavides. Benavides so tall, powerful. His promoter, Samson Lukowitz, gave him the nickname El Bandera Roca. That means the red flag. I asked him years ago, over five years ago, why they decided to give him that nickname. He said, rather than wave the white flag, the opponents will have to wear and wave the red flag because they're going to see nothing but blood based on what this young man and David Benavides can do. David Benavides started boxing and he was upwards up to 230 as a young man at 15 years of age. His older brother, Jose Benavides, is a welter or was a welterweight contender, super lightweight contender. I believe he was a champion as well to my knowledge. Jab by David Go Benavides. Head, David. There's a jab by David Benavides. 
A right hand to the body by the 23-year-old from Phoenix. Back comes Angulo. There's a big right hand, followed by a right to the body. Benavides, you hear those shots, they are wicked. When you hear the zip and the thud upon Alexis Angulo. Angulo starting to not be as active and busy based on the fact that he's been tasting the power of David Benavides. There is a right hand, followed by a left as Benavides sticking that jab in the kisser of Alexis Angulo. As we head towards the end of the second. Time. And there was some of the action from David Benavides, a beautiful right to the body that backed up Alexis Angulo again. There's that right, crushing right hand, and you see Benavides back up. Benavides is so crafty when it comes to his punch selection because he throws from every which angle. One of the most memorable knockouts that David Benavides had was when he knocked out Rogelio Porky Medina. And that was a couple years ago, and it was a vicious eight or nine punch combination that I was so fortunate enough to call. And we approach round three. This one is scheduled for 12. Ray Flores ringside here. Thank you all so much for joining us wherever you are around the world. Alexis Angulo trying to press David Benavides. But so far it has been David Benavides who is using his jab to begin the power onslaught. Like the work that Benavides did in the last round when he threw a right to the body and then he's finding the openings and when Benavides hits you, even on your arms and your biceps and your wrist, it still takes a lot out of you, even blocking the shots because of how heavy-handed David Benavides is. And you're starting to see that Angulo is a little bit more shy than usual because of the fact that he realizes he has a headhunter and someone who can land bunches and bunches with authority. But back comes Angulo. Over a minute has come off the clock. There's a nice right by David Benavides. There's a right to the body by David Benavides as we approach 50% of the way through round three. There's a jab to the body by David Benavides. Nice left hook by Benavides. Lobo sticking and pressing that jab. Look at that work by David Benavides. Goes downstairs. Does Benavides. It was below the belt, but thankfully it didn't connect. And good work now by Alexis Angulo, who's trying to crowd David Benavides. A left hook by the 23-year-old in Benavides. There's a right that connected, back it up. Alexis Angulo, I feel like Benavides knows he has Angulo hurt. He goes right back on the offensive. A left hook to the body by Benavides. Benavides really starting to open up, and that could be troublesome for Alexis Angulo, right to the body. Down goes Angulo, no knockdown. So says Johnny Callis. Angulo breathing heavy. It may only be a matter of time before he tastes the canvas officially. Big lead right hand by Benavides, another one. Crushing shots by the former champion. 
Benavides is in seek and destroy mode. A vicious left hook to the body by Benavides. Angulo getting the steam taken out from and he goes back to the corner. He is getting pounded upon with quite a bit of punishment. And let's take a look at the overhead look. Let's see, he's almost laboring a right to the body. Okay, their feet get, did get tangled up. So Johnny Callis was correct in that regard. Great job by our fantastic crew here at Mohegan Sun to give us that overhead look at the and we take a look at you know some of the some of our fellow commentators Benavides immediately rises to his feet Round four, this one is scheduled for 12. Ray Flores ringside here at Mohegan Sun. So far it has been the David Benavides show. As Alexis Angulo is gonna have to go through fire and some in order to try to swing the momentum in his favor. Alexis Angulo, the only time he fought for a world title was against Gilberto Ramirez, the former super middleweight champion. Angulo trying to press the issue and put Benavides with his back on the ropes. There's a steady jab by Benavides. A right to the body. David Benavides gets proper leverage behind his bunches and gains a lot of power that he generates from his legs. And couple that with being heavy-handed, that's a recipe for disaster for David Benavides' opponents. Sticking the jab is Benavides, but back comes Angulo. Angulo is a rough and tumble competitor. There's a jab by Benavides. We're over the halfway point of the fourth round. Benavides taking his time, but you know that he has in his mind to make this a quicker night than usual at the office. There's a left hook. Wins for David Benavides over Ronald Gavril twice. Anthony Durrell, Jay Leon Love, Rogelio Porky Medina. Benavides feels that he is among the elite and is the best at 168. Even though he lost the title, still quite confident in his ability and he has every right to do so. There's a left hook to the body that got through the guard of Alexis Angulo, followed by a right. We are approaching 30 seconds to go here in this fourth stanza. This one is scheduled for 12. Don't know if it'll last that long, to be honest, with the race that David Benavides is dishing out this punishment. But Alexis Angulo is so tough and durable. He's only lost to Alberto Ramirez. But it has been all David Benavides. But back comes Angulo charging across the ring to no avail. And that's the end of the fourth. Taking a look at the work from David Benavides against Alexis Angulo. The jab to the body and the scene. Uh, Benavides shook his right glove a little bit. I wonder if he hurt it. We'll be curious to see that because he, he's throwing that right hand, but I wonder if he hurt the right hand. Because he's starting to throw more with his left. That is something to look at moving forward. <laughs> Thank you.
Alexis, more punches, have to see more punches. And Johnny Callis telling on Gulo. He told Angulo, the referee in charge, said, I want to see more punches. <laughs> There's a right hand by Benavides. Benavides setting up his power shots with the jab. And to think Benavides is only 23 years of age. There's a right uppercut by Benavides. A left hook that found its mark for Benavides. As we are just over the meta mark here in this, the fifth round. Uh, Angulo seems to be a bit, as we like to say, gun shy after tasting the power of David Benavides. He isn't throwing with as much frequency as he did in the first round, largely in part to the fact that he has been getting pounded upon. And essentially, right now, he's a moving target for Benavides to just clobber upon. But if you're Angulo, it's that old mindset. You're going to have to deal with some pain. If you want to win this fight, win the world title. Now, in this fight, with Benavidez missing weight, if Benavidez wins, the WBC Super Middleweight Championship is vacant. Angulo can still win the world title, so this is a championship fight for Alexis Angulo. A left hook to the body by Benavidez. And Benavidez, now it is just straight up target practice for the Phoenix, Arizona native. Under a minute left here in the fifth. Oh, what a vicious right to the body by Benavidez, and he clipped him with a left hook. Benavidez is dominating and picking his shots. He's starting to really bully around. Alexis Angulo, but back comes Angulo now. We'll see if Angulo Alexis can like, do no. something. This is when he needs to have some offense. Time! There is a right hook to the body by David Benavides. Take a look at some of the work. There's that right to the body that I mentioned. Oh, that has to hurt. And Angulo would throw back himself. But so far, it is still on David Benavidez. And back, we see Benavidez. Uh, loading that right uppercut. Oh, oh my. Ice on the floor. Ice. Hold on. Hold on. One more. One more. Get it. Round six, this one is scheduled for 12. So far, it has been the David Benavides show here in Uncasville, Connecticut. There's a right that smacks off the skull of Alexis Angulo. Greatly appreciate all of you joining us. And let's not forget, David Benavides is just 23 years of age. And he's already been a two-time world champion. There's a nice sweeping right cross by Benavides as Angulo comes forward. 
There is a left hook by David Benavides. And Willow needs to do something to try to change around the momentum of this fight, but that is easier said than done, especially when you have someone like David Benavides who's putting together double, triple jabs and then has the power and the ring IQ to get around your guard and throw big power shots that shake the core of your foundation. There's a left hook to the body. Johnny Callis warning Benavides about keeping his punches up. There's a right back it up. Alexis Angulo. At what point, if you're Pedro Diaz, do you start to think, okay, my fighter's taking too much punishment? I think we're getting to that point as we approach 65 seconds to go here in the sixth. I think we're getting to the point where it's like, okay, you are getting pounded and beat up on. And he's still throwing punches, but he's got to give more of this. They go of each other. I'm all about the safety of the fighters and being able to go home to their family safe and sound even after having a battle like this. But Benavides is really starting to open up and connect and land some clean punches, especially to the body, and saw Angulo momentarily just grimace. It is just target practice inside the ring with David Benavides using his full arsenal here tonight. There's a look at this combination. This is remnants of what he did against Rogelio Porky Medina. And now David Benavidez is getting a lot more comfortable here. There's a right. Time. It is all David Benavides. Goodness. And we'll take a look at some of the work of El Bandera Roca, and there's another crushing right uppercut. Look at that work by David Benavides, almost like a video game. Pure dominance tonight by David Benavides against Alexis Angulo. <laughs> Respira, 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 hay tiempo, hay tiempo, hay tiempo, no te desesperes. Respira. Otra vez, ese ya. Round seven, this one is scheduled for 12. Curious to see if David Benavides steps on the gas and tries to finish off Alexis Angulo for Angulo. You always have a puncher's chance, especially with the knockout percentage that he has. But if you're David Benavides, probably thinking, all right, let me go and really try to finish this matchup off. <laughs> David Benavides with the jab to the body. And uh, doubling up on the jab, Angulo not doing too much. He fights in small spurts, does Angulo. And he's got to try to use his sort of like, like a running back mentality and try to get through the guard of Benavides and press him on the ropes. And here is David Benavidez who avoided that. He spun off the ropes and put himself right back in the center of the ring. Power shot thrown by Angulo, blocked by Benavidez. Benavidez answered right back. Makes his in his uppercut as well. Does the 23-year-old. 100 seconds left here in the seventh. <laughs> 75 seconds left here in the seventh. 
Look at that hand speed by David Benavides. The left hook to the body. Johnny Callis watching the action. I think this could get close to potentially being stopped if it continues at this rate. Benavides is starting to wear down. I mean, he's been wearing down on Gulo for the past several rounds. Double jab by David Benavidez, the right to the body. Final moments of the seventh. It is all, look at David Benavidez just tee off upon Alexis Angulo. And that is the end of the seventh. Round eight, this one is scheduled for 12. David Benavides and Alexis Sangulo. So far, it has been the David Benavides show. We'll see if that trend continues. Alexis Sangulo hasn't really done too much in this fight. Just momentary spurts of having Benavides on the ropes, and that's about it. Double jab. There's a right by Angulo. David Benavides in total control as Alexis Sangulo. I'm curious to see if Benavides now starts to walk down on Gulo more so. There's a right that drove on Gulo on the ropes, and now if Benavides starts to throw a combination, it could signal the end of the fight. Johnny Callis watching the action, but back comes on Gulo rushing across the ring. It seemed if on Gulo would have been in that corner for the next. 10 to 15 seconds, who knows what could have happened. But he used his ring knowledge to rush across the ring. There's a jab by Benavides, followed by a right cross. He tried to mix in an uppercut during that exchange as well. And this is when Angulo's got to go to work. Uppercut. Some body work by Angulo. But back comes Benavides. No backhand, David. No backhand. Benavides now in the softball stance. Oh, there's a vicious right hook to the body. And Benavides backs up. Now he goes back to conventional. And he continues to wail upon Alexis Angulo during this fight. Back comes Angulo. Angulo. <laughs> 
And that's the end of the eighth. And here, let's take a look at some of this work by David Benavides as he continues to pound away upon Alexis Sangulo. It is all David Benavides just clipping Sangulo in every different direction. Corner, clean up that water. And they're going to trot out David Benavides again. Or Alexis Sangulo again. So far, it has been all David Benavides. I don't have him losing out a single round. I don't even have him losing a minute of the fight collectively. Angulo now starting off with more of a sense of urgency, winging shots. There's a right to the body by David Benavides. There's a left hook to the body by Angulo. A double jab by Benavides. There's a jab followed by the right hand. Alexis, let go. Angulo trying to press Benavides as we have 100 seconds to go. Angulo is a tough customer. I will give him that. Boy, can he absorb some punishment. And here's a guy who only has one loss and that coming at the hands of Gilberto Ramirez and David Benavides is making him look subpar tonight. Keep him up, David, keep him up. There's a big right hand left to the body. Big right hand by David Benavides. And Benavides continues in his onslaught. Jab by Benavides. There's a right to the body by Benavides. There's a left downstairs to the body and Angulo still has no answers for David Benavides whatsoever. A right by Benavides followed by a left hook to the body by Benavides. But back comes Angulo, charging, rushing. It is total domination for Benavides. Sheer target practice. To the tenth we go. And we'll take a look. And more of David Benavidez, a left hook to the body. And Come on.
Coming up on round 10, this one's scheduled for 12. <laughs> As Romero, Alexis, like her. Alexis Angulo trying to do something to change the complexity of this fight. If you'd have told me this fight was going to go to the 10th round after the start that we saw, I would say you're probably wrong. But we have been surprised by the durability. I'm not surprised by the toughness, but man, can Alexis Angulo take a shot? Now he's really applying the pressure. But back comes Benavides. A lead right hand, connected, followed by a left hook. The combination of David Benavides. Don't hold his head, David. Benavides starting to really tee off on Alexis Angulo. Left hook to the body, a right to the body. More work and body devastation and a left hook on the chin by Benavides. Just over the 50% part of the 10. Big heavy power shots. All right, uppercut and dominance mark for Benavides. I mean, and as you look at this matchup, Angulo is not, he's only throwing a few punches over the course of the round. He's eating a lot. He's getting tattooed and blasted in every direction imaginable. At what point does Pedro Diaz say, come on, live to fight another day? Because, I mean, aesthetically, it hasn't done much when it comes to cuts, but oh man, that's a big shot. Backed up on Gulo who dropped his hands. And Johnny Callis may want to get in there. A left hook that connected by Angulo. But Johnny Callis may want to get in there and possibly stop this fight. Right uppercut. Benavidez pounded away upon Angulo. Jarring his head. Now Johnny Callis should step in right now. Man, Angulo is getting pounded. You saw his head snap back on several occasions during that exchange, and his face is starting to swell. It's like, at what point do you stop this fight? Is it over? It's over? So the corner has stopped the fight, and thankfully it is over. That was a dominant performance by David Benavides. Glad cooler heads prevail. Pedro Diaz embraces with Benavides. But that was a one-sided demolition for David Benavides. Let's take a look at the power punches. There's that vicious right cross by David Benavides. There's that right uppercut smacking off the jaw of Alexis Angulo and a left uppercut. This is when Angulo had his back on the ropes and it was a total dominant performance from David Benavides. So now the WBC Super Middleweight title 
becomes vacant, but remaining undefeated is David Benavides. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number 10. Our referee in charge, Johnny Callis, stops the contest upon request of the corner. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, and he is still undefeated, El Bandera Roja, David Benavides. Wow. Unbelievable.